So, uh, Ratchet, what happened last time? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, we found what we were looking for. You know, we got a we got a new pump for this water purifier. Um, of course, now I have a, a group of new best friends. Uh, we're all really close, and we love each other, and we're all friends and stuff. <laughs> so that's really cool. Um, now that we're back at the Ark, we hightailed it out of there. Now that we're back at the Ark, it's time to start, you know, improving this place. We got to get this water purifier installed. We got to do some other stuff, I assume. Um, Sarah shot that bird out the sky, the trash hawk. Uh, and then, uh, oh gosh, which one was it? Was it was uh, a mole that was um, getting chased by the worms. Was it Slade? I can't remember. I believe it was Mole. Mole was, mole. Mole was on the verge of being consumed. Right, and he didn't. And we try. We like did a lot of like we did a lot of work to get him out of there. We were really <clears throat> putting a lot of effort. Um, couple suicides, unfortunately, on our on our particular adventure. Don't know what that was all about. I think that's most of it, right? We I didn't get to build a bomb, not yet. Yeah. Are missing anything? Yeah, no, I mean you you made it um, out alive with the hordes of zone ghouls and the teeming swarm of some oily black giant snake things. There were thousands of them just acting as a swarm. Slade, it entered your mind and it told you that it was it has been here for a long time and that it has plans and uh, it maybe consumed the whole facility but you made it out with the part pure water or not as there was a lot of pure yeah. water there um, you have what you need to make your own pure water uh, as an artifact you also discovered two things um, well I should say Sarah discovered two things Sarah's big dream is to discover a way out from the zone, from the wasteland, from her mutations, from, from this life. And there is this myth of a place called Eden, where you may be able to do all of that. And uh, she probably hasn't told you all that dream, but she discovered an artifact, uh, which are energy pills, or focus pills, um, and um, or painkillers, whatever, you know, like powerful meds you find. And you there also, got Adderall. Adderall, probably, or something. Yeah, some kind of powerful... I'm talking a pharmaceutical. This ain't no holistic thing. Diazepam. Um, yeah, and then uh, you also find a journal. Uh, a full journal, like a whole book, um, written by someone oh, who claims... Oh, a diary. Yeah, a diary, uh, claiming to be from a, um, a non-mutant, from a human who worked at Eden. This is the first confirmation that this could be a real place. Um, and uh, what did you do with those two things, Sarah? And starting with the journal, the diary. I brought them with. Did That's you share? Did you share it. the? Did you share with everyone else what you found? Uh, given that not everybody believes in Eden, no. Okay. Uh, and then la did you, what did you do with the pills? Now, just so you know, you have two options when you find an artifact, okay? You can keep it and use it yourself if you want, or you can, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to deliver it to the Dawn Vault and it actually gives a, a development level, which allows you to build more and more higher tech things inside the Ark. Um, but, you never have to surrender them. You can always just keep them as well. I don't feel like the diary would actually help with anything. No, I'm talking about the pills. Not also... I know, I'm getting there. Oh, um, so, I mean, I'm going to keep the diary was what I was getting at. But, um, so, all I know as the character is it's a box of cylinders. I don't know what they're full of or what they actually do. So I'm just going to turn it in and be like, hey, this is a thing. Okay. Now, the chronology of that hasn't happened yet. We're going to play through that, okay? But I just needed to know yeah. in advance. Okay. So here you are. You all have made it back to the Ark and to the people. You're cheered as heroes. You know, um, 
that uh, you're able to install this and to top it all off it is um, it is the mole and ratchet that installs the the filter not Pontic um, so like you know they know who fixed it uh, uh, the mole claims that Pontic broke it but whether that happened or not everyone knows who fixed it and um, Ivar and his lieutenant are gone. And so now you have also taken over his gang. And there is this increased instability going on here. Um, at the beginning of the session, now that you've made it back to the Ark, you all can declare, if you want, a, um, uh, a council. What's it called? A, um, an assembly. You can declare an assembly. And you can begin, and each of you can begin other pro different projects if you all want to work on separate things. But they take longer because you can work on projects together. Or you can do projects together. And I can bring up your list of projects if that helps. Well, how do we get more food and water? Because I'm out. Yeah, and I will answer that as well. Let me bring up these projects because that, what you're asking, will, I think will be a simple question. Um... Let me see here. The people's projects. List of projects. Um, can everybody people's see that? Yes. Great. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that up for right now. Uh, it's weird it didn't go to it. So I'm, I'm, I apologize. You'll have to scroll down to where it says um, the people's projects. But how do you get your stats back and how do you get food and water? You have to either barter for it or you have to find it in the wasteland. Uh, or you have to create it because some people have features where they can create their own food and water. Um, but um, the main form of currency are bullets, but you can also trade scrap that you find. So this is something you can literally just do is like, hey, we have to go in the wasteland to collect scrap so that we can buy food and water. Like, that is one thing that you can do. We do have scrap. You can sell it. I believe on the economy currently... Um, you could trade in five scrap for a bullet, and one bullet is two grub. How many water. scrap do we have? Uh, if that's all the not cylinders and diary stuff, then six. All right. Well, uh, I, I, this does also feel like a, we need to adjudicate what, what, how much water did we get when we were at the water place? Um, as much as you can carry. So I'll say, you know, as many slots as you can fill. Uh, well, how many slots this, do we have? This I, answer raises more questions. I think that uh, only two people said they were doing that, though, and uh, if I recall correctly. And um, you have, for example, I'm looking at, I'll bring up the mole, okay? So the mole under gear, you can carry four things. You're currently carrying a crossbow um, and have some armor on. Uh, so you could carry two water. Um, Slade, uh, your gear, you have a ton of strength, even though you've taken damage, and you're not wearing or carrying anything. I think you have armor, though. Uh, I think we put on the... No, we put on the disguise. The last thing I was wearing was a disguise. So that'll take up one more slot. So you'll have three of ten, so you could carry seven water. And it's pure. It's not rot... Infested oh, water. great. Yeah. What's all this slot stuff? Because I have an encumbrance. And I actually, I think, I think water is actually, um, like, let me test something out here. Four, eight. Nice, yeah. Um, uh, water, you can carry, like, four. They're, like, small items, so you could actually carry a lot more. Let me see... Let me just max it out and see what you can carry. Uh, and I'll just... Because it'll tell you. 
Okay, so if I put in that you have 30 water, 35 water, 36 water. 36 water fills up your encumbrance. So if you want to carry 36 water, you have 36 water. And you can trade the right. water. Like two waters is one bullet. Or oh. or you can trade that for food. Uh, I trade it for food. And so if I do that with the mole real quick, um, let's see here. If I give you 15 water, oh, it goes over. Okay. It says that you can carry... You can carry eight water. The mole. So four water is one encumbrance then. Looks like yes, it. Yes, point two five per encumbrance. That's what I was. There you say. go. Yeah, I just increased mine by one. It went from four point six five to four point nine. So now this is just Slade and uh, and uh, mo the mole that said that they did this because I, I remember. No, yeah, I was just doing it to see what the actual encumbrance per water was. Yeah, I apologize because I know there's like three categories of weights. I hate it when games do that because I don't like, like, this is a light item and it's 0.25 on the regular <laughs> item and whatever. Um, nice. Grub is also 0.25 per piece. Nice. Yeah, so you can trade those uh, waters one for one for clean grub. Ooh. Bullets are only 0.05. That's good. Yeah. It is good. Or, or you can buy new bullets and give them to Sarah who and kill dragons with one hit. Who uses them? I think Sarah has a, a good stash of bullets going right Oh, yeah. Like, anytime I get an extra feat, I'm, like, always doing the 1d6 for more bullets. You got extra feet? Weird. Heck, not, it, you it's know. not that weird. <laughs> Stunts. All right. So, yeah, that's... Um, so you actually have a bit of a glut, thanks to... And I, I credit the two of you that were like, hey, I, how do I get this water? Can I water bottles can i just collect it i'm like yeah because because you asked that question you did it you now have carried back with you all this water uh, now it has been four days okay um and what we're about to talk about takes place over four days in those four days you will have to have consumed four grub and four water each and if you don't, then you become hungry and dehydrated, which start to well, have what, effects. What's the exchange rate of grub to water? One to one. Oh, okay. Done. Yeah. Wait, so are we actually, like, back at town buying and yes. selling shit right now? Okay, yeah, then I trade. Go. I would like to trade one bullet for two grub. You do it. You go to Marlowe's Marketplace and you trade a, a bullet for two grub, yeah. And the reason you're able to do that was thanks to completing that uh, that um, farmland, because otherwise it'd be one bullet is one grub, and one bullet and is then one we water. Just, and then someone just used up five of our scrap to get a grub too, or something. Uh, yeah, if you trade in five scrap, uh, that will be. I was right. saying, did did and one of you guys just do that? I, I'm wrong, by the way. To be clear, it's actually two grub. Five five scrap is two grub right now. Uh, so they were gonna do that. I, I I asked if we, I sort of declared intention to, but we're still trying to figure out how much stuff we have, like from go, here. Okay. Well, scrap wise, we have six, but I'm keeping the snow globe because I feel like Sarah would be enamored with it. All right, so you get two grub from that as well. So, uh, so how much how much grub and water did we get total from like? We need an inventory. What do we have? Here. Um, I'm also gonna I have four grub water. and one water. I man who has all the grub and water, how much do you have? Fish man. Me? That's me? Oh. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, well I had everything. 16... Well, I had thirty-six waters, so I decided to trade um eighteen of those for eighteen foods. Do you, do you want? Do you guys want to do a distributist method or a good luck with that? I have my own food and water yeah. method. I mean, it's well. It's, do you? It's, all right. So now, who needs food? 
and who needs water. I'm going to give Caleb five scrap and keep my snow globe and stop worrying about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the maximum I could carry, and we need food. So, the same one. And after I do that, who needs food? Who needs water? I'm good on food. I'm going to need three water. I'm okay with begging, though. Been there I need, before, so. I need food. I'm okay with water. How much food I do you need? need? Four? Four. All right, you got four. Bing! Nice. I am going to trade one of my food I got for one water. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, no, it's ratchet it's needed. Good. Yeah. Food, I mean, I don't right? need any crafting ingredients or bullets. I'm not a gearhead and I don't use gear. What did you need, ratchet? I needed three water. Three water. Okay. Would you take a crisp high five in payment? <laughs> Is it a high five if it's like fish gill, fish fishy? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fish fin and a three clawed ratchet uh, rat hand. I give yeah. him two bullets to get his own food and water with, so he doesn't have to beg. Because the mess. phrase is "give me some fin." <laughs> Slap me some fin. <laughs> Noggin. All right. So yeah, if you guys could do that, um, just you know, in chat, you know, the the shopping stuff. What what you know. Uh, Usually, we will play day by day, but I wanted to kind of advance it. There's a bunch of stuff that's about about to happen in those four days. We'll see how it happens. But also, this will allow Slade, his arm will heal. So, and um, and it'll allow you all to work stuff out and finish a project and all this other stuff happens. Okay. Um, all right. Here's a, another question. I have zone cook. I took that. Um, okay, and nice. I have... I have some rot food. Can I look that up? What are the limitations on it? Because it, it doesn't say like you can only do this once every this many times. It's just like you can do it. And there's a chance it'll succeed, but it doesn't place any limits on how many times I can do it. Where is the section? Oh, here it is. Talents. Okay. And you are a uh... own cook. Zone cook. Wasteland. You have mastered the art of cooking contaminated food in the zone well enough to purge it from the rot. You can also purify contaminated water. Roll to know the zone. Every radiation rolled purifies D6 rations of grub or water. There's no... It, it doesn't seem like it so fails should, brutally. It just has a chance of success. I, I should know. I, I apologize. There's another thing. Well, we're just gonna we're gonna learn this as we go, okay? Because there's lots mm -hmm. of little nuance here. We, if I recall correctly, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this a ruling for now. When you make it back to the ark, you can just purify your food and water. So one of the first things that happens when you come back to the to the ark is if you have a bunch of contaminated grub and water, you cook it and you purify it like in Fallout Four, you know? and you also purify yourself. <laughs> you you bathe yourself. And that's when you determine if you have permanent rot uh, as well. So, and you don't have to make a skill check for that. So, but this will allow you to do it out there if you get stuck out there and find stuff and need food and water. So that's good. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So projects. Um, what What are you all thinking? What do you want to do? This well, that's is, a great you question. Sort of exit your character and represent the people as a whole when these happen. Well, but I feel like an obligatory. Uh, what do we have? What's what's our state of play here? If you look at the island uh, character sheet, uh, you currently have cropland, and you finished a hunting party, giving you sixteen food and ten warfare. Uh, you have battle level two because you have two hundred and seven people with ten warfare. You have purified local water. It's currently fall. And um, your development level is um, such that you can do defenses, hunting party, cannibalism. Um, I'm going to say that you can just do these once for now. Uh, I, I, mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense to do, just spam them. Uh, pig sty you can do. A temple a right. wrestling ring. Here's a, here's a follow on question. Do we... What's the uh, what's the food situation like in comparison to our population? Are people starving to death or? Right. It, it says here if you go to 
page 101, it says, uh, with 18, it says, Star starvation still isn't far away, but the people have enough grub to cover their day-to-day -day needs. As long as the harvest or the hunt isn't threatened, typically you get two rations of grub in return for one bullet at this point, and I decrease the session body count. Uh, so, so you're still kind of like 18? tense. Uh, yeah, and you guys are at... Oh, wait, uh, you're at 16, which is... You know, that. Um, okay, I would like to float two suggestions. One is a pigsty, seems straightforward, easy peasy, gets us food, right? And food's good. Um, and we could still use some more food. Alternatively, we do have 10 Warfare, and there is a, a, a non-trivially sized army of zombies led by worm gods that may not like us anymore. And we could get started on a militia with Warfare 10. Oh yeah, you do have enough uh, warfare for, for to form a militia. And that would take uh, eight work points. I'm uh, really good at know the zone, so I can do the pigsty thing. What do you need to form a militia? That's fight or um, manipulate. Uh, manipulate that's the one. Oh well, I I. Obviously, I can help with the militia. I'm not good at either of those, but I can note the zone a bit. Oh, pigsty also in door works. Oh, yep. I didn't uh, mention that. Well, I just wanted to feel important. Mm -hmm. No, you're doing great. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I think those are uh, those are some options that we have. <laughs> That's funny. All right. What do you think, Sarah? Sorry, I was totally spaced out. Uh, he's um. suggesting either forming a militia which, or creating a pigsty. So either food or having greater defenses. I think the pigsty would be more beneficial at this time because you said it's fall and as we go into winter, mm -hmm. the technological lack thereof means it's less likely for somebody to form a raid or start a war against us so the big pigsty would be the most beneficial thing for us right now to hoard food for the winter it does also making the pigsty does use the skill know the zone which i hear you're pretty good at uh no i'm good at find the path this is true i oh, think that's... fishman is know the zone ratchet's really good at know the zone we got some uh Okay, I think I'm going to suggest that we focus on the pigsty immediately. Well, if that's the case, everyone can roll either Endure or Know the Zone to see how many work points you accomplish of eight that you will need. I'm on right. it. I'm sure pigsty. Nice. Okay, so we got one, two, three. Oh four. wait, sorry. Um, uh, can I reroll? I didn't have my wits back up to five from drinking water. Yet. Yeah, yeah, or, sure. Um, okay. From uh, sleeping, I don't remember what it is. Yeah, wits asleep, I think. you got a good roll though, so there is that. Yeah, you you can do that if you yeah if you want. I would love to. All right, Ooh. shouldn't have done that. That's, That's... embarrassing. <laughs> How can I push many... that? I, I want to push it. You can push it. Yeah. Oh no, no, you oh gosh. The pigs are eating you. You're being devoured by, <laughs> by pigs. By mutant pigs. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. You were like, oh, I didn't get all my whatever back. Can I push it? Oh, I lost all of it that time. Oh no. Well that's embarrassing. Um let's I see. I don't feel very good about that at all. Uh, no, the zone is what stat is that based on? That's wits. Wit. I'm okay. sleepy. Yeah, so all you gotta do is sleep for four hours and you get it back, so that's good news at least. But, uh, so you 
finish two of eight. So I'll just put that on here. Two of eight. You went to you went to corral the pigs, and they were like, "Answer me these riddles three. and you did not have a good time. <laughs> Orklet uprising. I'm gonna actually like put all this is completed here up at the up above it. All right, so you you this is it for that session. You can only do that one time, unless anyone else wants to push. Don't do it, guys. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't end out so well. No, I'm good. All right. Okay, so that was the project. Um, let's see here. Um, so, you make it back. Uh, you you know start decontaminating your stuff. Uh, some of you get sick, like permanently. You can tell that you have this like permanent sickness. Um, you fix the pump. You're held as heroes. You have these new tensions. You learn about these new people. Uh, and on the first day, mole. Your friend Scooty approaches you, um, and uh, he seems strangely happy, especially for someone who's under pressure from Boss Marlow to produce booze with a broken still and a dwindling supply, and you had to cover him for some supplies the last time you talked to him. And, uh, and he says, hey, uh, so Mole, uh, you're, you're the boss now. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I do seem to be. I'd like to imagine that I'm, I'm kind of just defaulted to because I got the, the cooking and the stuff. I, I'd like to think I've defaulted to being. I'm the behind the bar man now. Yeah, uh, they're there. And you know, I, I don't know what Ivar's plan was, but I'll be honest with you. I, uh, he was making sense. You know, before he left, all that stuff about brotherhood and coming together and about things beyond what we could know and, uh, you know I uh, I was really starting to believe that and anyways yeah, me, uh, me too buddy I, I uh, yeah I, I think I wonder I wonder if I, I maybe know what Ivar might be up to because um, I was see I was hanging out near the wall let me bring the out of character let me bring the map back up okay I was, uh, I was down near the wall, okay, and, um, you know, sometimes I just like go for a walk, okay, and, um, us, there was a robed figure in a boat, and, um, don't tell anybody, you know, I mean, Bjorn already hates us, you know, um, I didn't tell him, I don't want to tell him, because, uh, I talked to him, I talked to the robed figure out there. What, what, what do you say? I'm, I'm hanging on your every word here, man. They, um... I know this sounds crazy, but... They have magic. Everything, everything Ivar was saying is true. I, I think there's people out there. I think they want to help us. I think they want to show us. I, I, I don't think we're meant to stay here in this ark uh, and just die. I, I, I don't have anything against the Elder or anything, but... I, I, I don't think this is what we're meant to do. I, I think who, they have... Who, who, are, who are they? What did you see? What did, what I, I don't know. I just... They were in a boat, uh, and they were out on the... the off the island, and uh, I saw them past the wall, and uh, they asked me if we were all mutants. And I said, yes. And they nodded their head, and they showed me things. They showed me things... Uh, uh, tricks and wonders and uh, they even had a plant they had a plant and it was green and they said they want to help us I, I think if we I think if we go out and we and we we, we we find them then they'll be able to help us I think maybe some of those stories are true Did you, did you see where they went? Did they did they did they tell you anything? Anything concrete, useful that we can chase? Yeah, yeah. I they told me where to go. I I think I know where they are. And um, this maybe happens later because Sarah has a map of the zone. It's like been filled in with um, you know details from all the some of the um, 
stalkers who have perished. And they point, he, or he points here. Ah. Uh, don't come here. I've always said that looked like a really inviting part of the map. <laughs> He's like, I, I think we should, I think, I, I don't, I don't know what the stalker meant when they wrote this, but, um, yeah, he said it was over on this peninsula past that, that floodplain, um, on the near side of that monument. And I don't, I don't suppose that this, that this mysterious figure told you what we'd find there. I think salvation, the truth. All right. He has this distant look in his face. I mean, he yeah. believes. Did this, did this hooded figure give you a? A name that they that they to identify them by, or or a... no, I think they would just know us. All oh, right, the prophet it is. Ah. Maybe we maybe we would get new names. Maybe he looks at um, his hands; they're covered in sores. He's like, M maybe maybe we could change. Thank you so much for for sharing this with me. And he doesn't even bring up the fact that his still is low, or yeah. that he uh, that he still owes Marlo. Uh, well, I'll I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll take a little time to, to bring that up. Hey, that that uh, that distillery. Uh, what did you uh, What are you looking for to get that uh, back up uh, up and operational again? By the way. Uh, and he he shows you around and he shows you the dis distiller and everything. And with that, you can tell uh, that you 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 don't have to make a roll for this. You know the requirements, and it's it's a community project. Um, I will say it's different in that you would own this, like you your gang, you four would own this if if you made it. But uh, it says a contraption of tanks, bottles, and tubes to a chemical substance from burning wooden plants to brew booze you need food supply 5 and technology 15 and I think your technology has gone up because of the pills so let me look at that actually um, could you real quickly before you go off that page food what and technology what uh, food is just um, 5 technology 15 you also have okay. to build a workshop first and you need technology 10 to build a workshop All right, a bit of a distant call that one is. I feel like with your pills, what is it? Um, something about the the vault, and then if you put the pills in it, it will make your technology go up as well. The dawn vault. Um. Um, uh, artifacts have two numeric values, dev requirement and dev bonus. The dev requirement is the minimum level in one of the four devs that the Ark must have to reach for all people to be able to easily understand and use the artifact. The dev bonus is added to the Ark dev rating indicated, but only if the item is handed in. So, um, let me look at the items. This is a artifact... I think it's just called energy pills, yeah. And it has technology 20, but it gives you no dev bonus. So I, what I'm going to say is that you can begin producing these once you reach technology 20. Interesting. And they basically make it to where you don't have to sleep and you can go, go without sleep and stuff. I do hate sleeping. <laughs> All right, so meanwhile, uh, over at uh, 
Boss Marlowe's place. Sarah, uh, several people uh, from the marketplace who you would know represent Boss Marlowe, um, ask for you to come and stop by the marketplace and speak with her directly because she has an offer for you. She says, uh, they say that they, they claim that they, they know what you're seeking and they might be able to help you. I oblige with skepticism. All right, you come by the marketplace and it's this, uh, you know, imagine like this like Mad Max style place. It's just like mutants um, all sprawled out here in, in a row and the place just smells like rotted, you know, gamey mut mutant meat and, and mutant fish and stuff like that. But, uh, um, but primarily people are haggling over just the scraps of the old world. Uh, and trinkets and um, um, just junk. And um, uh, there are buildings here that are very well guarded with people with bows and crossbows and scrap guns uh, and some really tough looking mutants with different powers uh, because this is also the warehouse with the remaining stock of the old world food that's preserved. And uh, that is the place that has Marlowe's office in it. And when you come in, Boss Marlowe is this big hulking mutant woman, and um, and she says, "Ah, oh, the last stalker. Come on in. Come on in." <clears throat> I go on in, mm. and I just stare at her. That was really something that you all did, you know, helping us get the water back up and running. I yep. thank you. Well, all right. Yep. Just do it then, Sarah. Fine. Look, I know, I know that you trying to find that <clears throat> that um, that fable. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I could see how it might be true, especially after what I've seen. I'm listening. Well. She has, like, some goons in here. She, uh, pushes something on the table. Now, you, uh, Sean, would recognize this as a tape player. But, uh, but you, uh, as Sarah, probably don't know what this is, but you know it's an old world artifact. And, and she taps it. And she's like, I probably know more about this old world vault that you're looking for than any mutant you've ever met. And she just keeps tapping the, the tape player. We talk a VHS or A track? Like a audio cassette tape player. Yeah. Um. I just kind of keep staring at her, like, get to the point. You could have it if you. Help me out with a little problem. What's the problem? Denric. He's hoarding food. I don't know what his source is, but Denric's not the one in the in in in, in the island that's supposed to be keeping the food, and I've got obligations to meet. Look, the truth is that the elder. He's not really running things anymore around here. It's up to us now. He's not going to last much longer. So, I got this from the vault. So, you take care of Dinric. Still, make him disappear. I don't care. Either. Is that the one we just fixed the still for? No. No, uh, that is Pontiac. Denric, uh, I haven't mentioned before, but Denric is another boss. Um, mm -hmm. He just has like a conclave of people on the north end of the island. And um, he has his own goons and stuff. But anyways, she says, I want the food. But get Denric out of the way. That's another way to solve the problem. In the end, I don't care. That's what you specialize in. You take care of Denric, or you get me the food back. This is yours. Uh, 
I'll be back. And then I just turn around and walk out. She, you hear her chuckle a little bit. Yeah, and you walk out. Um, yeah, where, where, where do you go next? This um, is the first day after you get back. So you've decontaminated, rested, eaten and drank, and you're tending your wounds and stuff, and it's now the next day. I'm going to pay a visit to... Mole, 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 mole. Okay. Because... It is useful to have him in a positive relationship. All right. And therefore, if I have something I need to speak to someone about, he's probably the best one to go to right now. Um, and I'm just like, hey, mole, 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 mole. What do you know about... Uh, what was the name? Dendrick? Dendrick. Dendrick. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know all about Dendrick. Yeah. What do I know about Dendrick? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have to. Let's see. I'd like to imagine I just start shuffling through uh, Ivar's notes that I found somewhere, and I'm like, yes, D, Denrick, yes, uh -huh. yes. Um, let me find. For that, I need the types of bosses real fast. So I need the arc, page 96. Okay, boss types. Um, Dinric uh, uh, represents an, a, a kind of like petty up and coming. Uh, he, um, uh, so another thing about the temple opposite, so let's talk about Bjorn. So like Ivar and Bjorn were brothers and uh, Ivar lost his legs to Bjorn and the elder has kept them from fighting. But Buren is sort of like the militant boss, the despot boss is the category it's called. So he has a lot of the guards that watch the walls, and that's kind of what he does for the, the island. Um, meanwhile, Ivar's gang was kind of like the workers, and uh, they um, were more populous, and there was a bunch of them. Uh, a lot of those workers have little splinter groups, and one of them split off from Ivar's gang at some point, and the petty lieutenant that sort of took charge was Denric. So, uh, he is a, um, I would call him a, uh, a kingpin. Um, he is trying to, like, usurp the power of the existing power structure and bosses, including Ivar. Oh. Dinric. Sounds like a real geek. Yeah, yeah, Denric's like, he's kind of this, like, uppity guy, you know, he's, he's, uh, he, he took some of our guys with him and went off, and he's trying to, you know, kind of, uh, revolution stuff, I, I suppose I don't think about him that much. Well, and then since I used to hang out with Ivar, do I know anything about Denric myself? Sure, um, yeah, I mean, you would know all, that's the case, uh, there's this group of workers that kind of work on the north wall of the island, and, uh, that's their own little tiny pity kingdom, about you know three quarters of a mile or, or a quarter of a mile away uh, on the island, they um, they work the walls on the north side, maintain them, guard them. Yeah. Um. Okay, so. Denric's kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> is is what I'm grasping? Uh, I mean, it, again, this is collaborative because it's about the arc. Okay. Um, yeah. So you can tell me. I mean, you can you can just tell me. You can make it up. Tell me what you know about Denric. Okay. Um, I have probably seen him fucking around with the boys when he wasn't in charge, thinking he's hot shit and probably has you know a lot of uh what's the uh what's the word i'm looking for uh what's that thing where somebody thinks they're hot shit when they're not uh 
Ego? Arrogance? Ego? Yeah. yeah Napoleonic arrogance. complex? Probably that too. <laughs> I, I imagine this guy's probably short and overweight and just trying to compensate. There's no way he's taller than 5'4. There's no way. <laughs> I think you meant to say 4'4, four, four, but yeah, I get you. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, you'd think cool. that, but wait until you see him on a horse. That puts a few inches. <laughs> <laughs> he's got lifts in his boots. Puts a few inches on and on the wrong directions. Makes him look double wide. Uh, <laughs> It's like those really short dudes get really, really buff, and it just makes them look so much shorter. Dwarf maxing. Then I'm going to say <laughs> to Mr. Molly, 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 uh, I need your help with a project. Project. Oh, I, I do seem to have free resources for that kind of thing. What kind of what kind of project are you, are you thinking about? Like a well? I'm going to hold out my original scrap rifle and be like, can you make this thing shoot quietly? Hmm. That's an interesting question. I could make it show. I could probably make it shoot more quiet. At least stick a can on the end of there, you know. Have you, Have you guys heard of a crossbow? I have heard of crossbows. Unless you have one that is not helpful. Uh, <laughs> sentiment. A cross what? No. Well, I've I've got a slingshot. Well, that, that's very. That's basically question for a crossbow. You. Does a crossbow basically, yeah. work for your? For would a crossbow work for what you need to accomplish? I, it certainly would. All right, I'll put a, a crossbow on the bar and say I've got three crossbow bolts. Uh, and, uh, you know. All right. What are you trying well, to shoot? Well, uh, remember how I was just asking about Denric? Yeah. So uh, I need him to not be alive. That's an interesting thing to need. <laughs> Do you yeah, want to talk yeah. about it? Not really, no. <laughs> That's okay. an interesting thing to need. And I will I will trade him my original scrap rifle since I have the twin barrel scrap rifle for his uh, crossbow with bolts. All right, I'll keep that uh, behind the bar here for you. Try not to lose that, I suppose. I only Wait. have the one. Wait, I thought you said you had... Oh, with three bolts. I'm... I th my brain was like, oh, he's got well, three crossbows. That's I think I, I, no, I, I nope, could be wrong, but one. to clarify, I think he needs it back because he can produce crossbow bolts. So oh, that's pretty okay. wild. Yeah. Then but. I leave him my scrap rifle as collateral till I get back. Yeah. And then I'm like, cool, cool. One other thing. Can you get Denric to come to the cemetery? I, I think this is a cemetery. I well, if you kill him, he'll go to the cemetery. I mean, that's obvious. You're really no, cutting up yeah. the middle man there, I see. You don't want to pay oh, the, the body movers. Yeah. Quietly. Um that a rent a hearse and that's all. And then like I want to go find a tree in the cemetery to hide in. Is the goal there. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I could uh uh sure yeah, food and water. I could request a, a uh I could send a, a runner over and request a a parlay over in the cemetery. Ask him to wear a red hat. Works for me. All right. So um, the evening comes, and uh, in the evening, um, the evening's a pervert. Uh, mole, you are visited by someone. Um, so th this, you 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 hatch this like the runner is going to go. This is going to happen the, tomorrow, the next day. Okay. Yeah. So it's the it's the evening of the first day. This hasn't happened yet, okay? Uh, and someone comes to you in the temple in private, and they uh, and they say, uh, and it is Chronicler Astra. She's a very kind of like Zen kind of creep, kind of religious creep, and uh, she um, is this the person that my friends hate? Two of your friends do hate this person. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is one of the kind of like head chroniclers that manages the Dawn Vault for the for the Elder. And uh she uh, she comes to um uh to, to 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 talk to you and she's got this like kind of weird, you know, religious zealot kind of like thing going on with robes and stuff and and this kind of like 
vacant look all the time. She comes and... and um, yeah, so I'll fold my hands in front of me and I'll sort of bow and go, yes, I'm going to color a if I, if I recall. Welcome to our, my, my humble abode. Blessings to you, Mole. I oh, love those. These are treacherous times. And I, along with all of us, are so grateful for the great deed that you have done for the people. Oh, well, you know, and any, anything I can do to, to help the, the Ark, of course. Yes, I regret that just a day into your, uh, your recovery from that, that expedition, I, I, I must come to you with, with dire tidings. I do not come on behalf of the Elder. And that is because he is not well. As you know. But he ails worse with each day. And I do not believe he had the strength to tell me to do what I must now do. Which is to reveal to you the truth. Mole. You know that the stalkers, they're gone. All but one, by my uh, counting. All but one. Mole, she killed them. Oh, dear. I feel like that's probably some bullshit. You're not here. I know. Yeah, Sorry, right. I was, that was not in character. <laughs> no blessings on you. <laughs> no. If I was there, I would have already tried to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, the bullshit. She, she says... Uh, Yes, and as you also know that just after you returned, Ivar and Burlap also went missing. And I have evidence to suggest that this also was Sarah. That's a, that's a heavy accusation. What kind of uh, oof. I believe evidence do you have for that? It's, it's a body of evidence that has been gathered for a long time. I see what you did there, yes. <laughs> the, uh, the Elder uh, had sent Sarah on missions, frequent missions, repeatedly. And slowly, as the years went by, stalkers went missing and they didn't return. But it all comes down to a map. Sarah has the last map of the zone and the notes of all the other stalkers. Furthermore, we have watched Sarah's recordings, her conversations, the things she's written. Sarah's obsessed with this idea that she and she alone can find a way out. As you know, us chroniclers do not believe that. We believe that we are meant to bring a new dawn the new dawn here to the wasteland and change things for the people. The elder never supported her, her fantasies, her, her illusions about some sort of mystical place that she could go to. Even when she was young, the elder tried to help her with this delusion, but it has only grown worse year after year, and then the stalkers began to disappear, the notes began to grow, and the worst thing of all is you came back with two, or I'm sorry, with one survivor that the Elder has sent uh, to uh, the Pure Plant, right? Um, there were, th and out of character, there were three, right? And one of them was killed uh, by Ivar, but you don't know that. And the second one was sort of killed by Ivar because they, he, and he sacrificed, Ivar sacrificed himself, yeah. the, the, the mutant, right? So there was one left and it came back with you. And so anyways, Chronicler Astra says, I suspect that Sarah has slain Ivar and Burlap and 
You don't know this, but I have evidence, because Ivar came to me with his concerns before he disappeared. He was also worried about Sarah. And... Ivar saw Sarah slay a mutant right in front of him. One of the leads that was sent on the team by the Elder to the Pure Plant. And lastly, the one survivor that came back is slain. I worry for you and your friends. The, the guy who... The survivor is, is uh, that we rescued is dead. Yep. Yeah, well, he's missing. Missing. Would... Uh, I... I don't suppose that you have the, the bodies of any of these people that you accuse Sarah of, uh, of, of doing away with. I don't think Sarah leaves bodies. I also don't think she's quiet. The primary evidence is the map. She has information that she could only get from the other stalkers. And I think if you just watch Sarah see how she operates and the obsession she has. I believe that Sarah has a plan to bring down the island and the people. And I think she'll move on it very soon. Tensions are high. Think that, uh, what do you think that plan is? Frankly. You must have some details if you think there's a plan. I do not, in fact, have details, but I think, to be honest, with Ivar gone, she will seek to manipulate you. And if that happens, and the balance is upset here on the island, the mutants will tear themselves apart and do Sarah's work for her. She will be free to seize anything that she needs from the Dawn Vault for the strange fantasy that she holds, and she'll be off on her own. Oh, well, it's, it's, uh, I guess it's, it's not that I don't. So just this map that she has. Dear Chronicler, that the you... map, but also the way that the missions that she's received, the missions that she was on where other stalkers disappeared and never returned. She was always in the place necessary for the next stalker not to come back. And they didn't come back. She did. Yeah, you have the you have the roster of these uh, the documentation of these missions available for reference. Yes. Yeah, review. Yeah, right now, immediately? Yeah, she can provide you uh, records. Uh, this is exactly what a chronicler would do. And so she shows you, and in fact, that is the case where uh, oftentimes Sarah operated either in concert with uh, a stalker who perished or uh, or was adjacent in an operation with a stalker that perished. And uh, more and more stalkers in those situations didn't, didn't return. Um, and um, and there are even things that she points out where she notes that the the elder took Sarah off of missions. Sarah left anyways, and he, and then a stalker didn't return, and then Sarah came back. Is this my origin story, or are we talking like falsified? <laughs> um, I don't know, uh, but remember that you know, you can always declare your own roles. You know, you can say, hey, I wanna, I'm going to just roll this. I'm going to do this thing. I can use this ability. You, you don't have to... I, I, it's not like D&D &D where I'll cue that, so you can always... That's a, that's a good point, Ken. Not that I'm amazing at it, but I, I, I would like to sense this lady's emotions uh -huh. and see if uh, she's, she's on the level, which, of course, she isn't, but is she off the level... In the way I'd expect being a weird person. Or oh, person or yeah. Or... Yeah, yeah, you can do that. All right. Big money, no whammies. There you Aha! Go. Big money, yep. no whammies. You got it. All right, so yeah. Um, um, 
What is the question? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I got it. So is, is she, she trying to manipulate me? Uh, no. You can tell that she sincerely thinks that Sarah is a murderer and is going to try to destroy the island. That's not good. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you for confiding in me, Chronicler Astra. She bows. She says, these are such grave times. I am sorry about your friend Ivar. Please be careful in the days to come. And she disappears into the night. All right. The next day, the sun rises. And you all begin to hear rumors that along the south wall, robed figures. So you not just from Scooty, but you hear this kind of like an other out and about. You hear mutants talking that guards along the walls were talk to mutants, or not mutants, but robed figures in boats. And um, the robed figures all ask the same question. Are there any non-mutants here? And they offered, like, trade. They, they said they have grand artifacts and powerful items and things that could solve the people's problems and all this sort of stuff. And, uh, of course, everyone here is a mutant except for one. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, that mm, probably you can assume was never brought up perhaps even by accident they're like yeah we're mutants and so these robed figures departed in the night you hear rumors about this the next day um, and then before you can hatch the plan where you send a runner that day and you know and, and um, uh, Dinric is going to come and, and Sarah's going to try to take him out and stuff before that happens, Sarah, um, this is when you're, so this was just the first day, and then now you're on the second day, right? And so you have these pills. You don't know they're pills. You don't know what they are, but you're going to take them to the Dawn Vault, right? Is what you said, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yes. So you're about to take them to the Dawn Vault, and some goons intercept you. So the, the Dawn Vault is here. The Dawn Vault is actually a mausoleum, like an underground kind of thing, like a crypt. Uh, and that's where the Elder is as well. And some goons intercept you as you pass the cropland. And they're like, Pontic needs that. And they stop you. Who needs it? Pontic. You would know Pontic is like the main gearhead for the, uh, for the, for the island. Oh, is that who the guy owed money to or a booze or something no uh pontic is the main gearhead who operates the water purifier uh mole <clears throat> thinks that he broke the water purifier but um pontic is the one that like manages all the tech uh for the elder um I hmm. There's some way I could just do like find the path and sneak to like evade these guys and continue on my way on a different path. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but isn't there like a um, manipulate? I mean, no, you tell me. That's how this game works. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, you tell me how what skill you use, how you use it. I mean, because I definitely want to like find a specific path like Assassin's Creed parkour style and just lose these idiots. Sure. Yeah, go for it. And then sneak the rest of my way. Alright. Okay, so... Alright, yeah, you do it. You got a six. Alright, so... Um, uh, how do you, like, initially lose them? Like, what do you, what do you do in character when they, when they stop you and they demand that you hand that over? I literally just parkour everything I can find. I, like... Okay. I'll, be, I'll like run into the cropland and like just start sliding under or jumping through or jumping over fences and livestock and shit. And like if there's like boxes laying around, I'll like knock them over so they're in these guys' way. And then like as soon as I'm out of their line of sight, I'm just gonna like keep going on a different route to 
towards my actual destination. All right, yeah. Uh, initially, like, hey, stop! You know, and they try to chase after you. They're nowhere near as nimble as you, and you just like parkour among all the old, decrepit graveyard stuff, like the the above. Parkour. Ground. Yeah, uh, and you easily lose them among the tangled wrecks of this old graveyard, and you make it to the mausoleum without a problem. Um, all right. Uh, meanwhile, so I. I apologize too. I know that um, uh, Slade and Ratchet, uh, a lot hasn't happened with you yet. But with these relationships, I'll have that in the future. The stuff that would be going on for you in Thank the. Uh, in hey, the, no news. Is good news. Indeed, but I did want to offer. So now it's day two. So like, you know, Slade, your arm is healing up. It's starting to get there. Um, you probably have like an unnatural level of being able to kind of heal and endure things anyways. Um, and ratchet, you know, um, you guys are healing up, you're getting food and water, you're trading all that stuff. You know, all that I imagine happens in character. Uh, what are you all doing on day two? Um, I'm wondering if I can heal my wits back because we slept. Uh, uh yeah. Okay. So I'm at one out of five and I'd like to not be that anymore. Yeah, you get all that back with four hours of sleep. Based. Um. Well, okay. So. I, I actually have a, a sort of a not exactly a in character question, sort of a meta question. I see in the arc projects there's a distillery project, but you said that there was a broken distillery at the bar. Are those? Would we need to do that distillery project, or can I see if I can fix that thing? Uh, you would need to complete the distillery project. That's what, That's I, what I figured, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to do anything. Um, I, well, I'll keep going. I just wanted to offer. Is there anything that you guys are, you know, like, any kind of trouble you want to get up to or collaboration or thing, things on your agenda that you wanted to accomplish in the arc? Mr. Fishman, anything you got? Oh, well, we're still working on uh, the pigsty, right? Yeah, that's sort of and a... that, that's something that's happening every day. Like that kind of right. represents your day job, if you will. Yeah, so we can do stuff other than that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I, I don't really have anything else to do. No uh, problem. You will I mean, next I just, time. Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I will be working on that because I don't have anything else to work on. As a grunt, I don't get any special work on things powers. No problem. All right, so. Um, I have a job for Slade. <laughs> All right. What you need? This is a general proposition. I'd like to call you in the bar. Slade, I need your help. You need me to dance on your grave? Close. Not. Hold on. I'm going to sit here and think about that for a few moments. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean by I'm that? I'm going to pretend that. Th One that's of my favorite parts about being a fish man is I can just stare at people and never blink. Yeah. No. Um, okay. Well, let's, <laughs> let's pretend that didn't happen. Uh, I, you're, you're some deal, right? You're scary. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I need to. You see, this uh, gang we've got going here, and by gang, I of course mean, I lean forward, family. Um, has uh, you know, every every family has a few figures you got your mom you got your dad you've got the guy that runs the family you've got the guy that hits people who threaten the family right well, you know a gang have... is different from a family but I eh, not you. really but uh anyway we're missing remind me not to invite you to any banks hey listen our our family dinners are fantastic um anyway <laughs> that's uh, what you call them yeah Anyway, we're down. Uh, we're down the guy who calls the shots, and we're down the guy who who does the shooting, metaphorically speaking. All right. Um, right now, I I seem to be calling shots here, which is hard. Um, and I need someone. Uh, this is a really long-winded way of saying I kind of need a head of security around here. Okay. To secure things. Public affairs right. officer. Yeah, public relations. <laughs> you know. Um, with our enemies. Uh, how would you feel about a little responsibility? But you know I'm not supposed to talk to people, right? You don't have to make friends with people. <laughs> Good. <laughs> when I say public relations, I mean that metaphorically. Ah, yes. 
Um, I'm asking yeah, so I can definitely be... relate to the public. Yeah, I'll crack but I'm, I'm asking if you could perhaps, uh, if you would feel okay sort of heading our security around here. Um, sure. I already wanted to form a militia, but I was told we needed to raise pigs instead. <laughs> well, the battle boars will be very helpful in the future. But for the, yeah. I it's can't the wait to ride the operation. war boar. War boars yeah. are my favorite mounts. No one ever, no game, games almost never have war boars yep. as mounts. That's so always we'll, great. Yeah, so it's it's kind of you know you, to have a militia, you first need to be able to feed the militia. It's it's kind of you know, all right. We can, we so, can get there, so so what is what do you need me to do? What's my responsibility? I don't. Know. It's it's kind of uh, you know you know how there's the fireman's axe and it says in a case of emergency break glass and the only emergency you could think of to use for it is if there's someone trying to kill you. You're the axe. You know, it, it, it's nothing yes. you need to do right now, but it's just like in the future. I'm, I'm on call. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. Do I and get a radio? Uh, we don't have radios. Or so anything. if you need me, how would you call for me? Slade. Or alternatively, <laughs> if you hear screaming, please investigate. <laughs> All right, I will. I will change my behavior now. When I hear screaming, I will move towards it. Yeah, so very. All right. He I was to yes. believe that that's not how already already how you acted. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's everything I had. I'm glad we had this talk. I'm glad we had this talk too. Look at us, a real family. All right. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got your muscle. Was that that conversation like be my muscle? I. I I, I was already willing to beat people up. So yeah, I, we're I, just nice. we're we're adding titles to uh to now previous I'm actively responsibility. Suspicious. This is codified now. This is co a codified. You have papers and everything, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. All right, all right. So the day comes, and uh, you have told Sarah that you're going to send a runner and lure uh, Boss uh, Denrick out into the cemetery for the evening. What do you do? It depends on who you is. Uh, Mole, of course, we would be sending such runner. The Mole. Yes, the Mole. I need the article. You're like uh, Ohio State University. It's the, the yeah, Mole. The Ohio okay. State. It's like the um, Gambia in Africa. I, 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 yeah, I'd like to, I'll pick a random, random dude and uh, send him to, I assume we have pencils and the requisite technology to write letters yeah what do you what do you tell uh Basically, boss right Kendrick? as you may have heard uh the the great and esteemed boss ivar has uh disappeared has made an unplanned disappearance and um i would like to discuss the the future of the ark with you as this uh as events have concerned it. All right. Uh, Sarah, it works. And a um, few goons are there. But then you can clearly see the boss, Denrick, there among the, uh, the goons. Um, what do you do? Well, it's, I it's want to easy. have, like, I want to have, like, scouted out a tree in advance. Sure. And just like be up there waiting patiently because stalker. Yeah. And then I just want to try and put, you know, a bolt through his head. All right. So I'm thinking it'll be shoot. You can also add a die because you looked in advance for a firing position. Well, I was just going to click on the crossbow and fire it like as an item. Oh, yeah, totally. Because <laughs> I mean, just to say that's the skill that you would use, but you can add another die to it on top of what you already have. Okay. I will do that then, which is a lot. Okay. So this is cool. Uh, not only do you assassinate the boss Denrick, but you can pick like some other things. Like you could just kill all of his people as well and leave no witnesses, or you could, um, I don't know. What do you want to do? I want to do that one. <laughs> okay. So Riddle. Crossbow poof, goes through the throat of Denrick. He collapses, uh, pull, pulling it, you know, this thing that he's choking on until he starts to 
you know, pass out, and then like you put through two through the spine of the nearby goons, and you just have bodies in the graveyard. I would like to place them all in open graves, like dig them two more feet down so it's eight feet instead of six, and then bury them below where a coffin or body will be lowered. But also, how many bodies are there? Um, there are like three. Uh, three. Yeah. I would also like to use uh, three of my mutant points to, like, burn the corpses beyond recognition. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, you find two things of interest on the body of Denry. Uh, that is too big. Oh, that's, fuck ri yeah. that's ridiculous. You find uh, <laughs> that he has... <laughs> that's ridiculous. A scooter. Come on. Uh, it says in, it's like one of those like what do you call those that old people ride a, uh, a hover round or whatever because it says it oh sure mutants or a Vespa that's like a motorized transport it's not a anyways uh, <laughs> he doesn't have that in his backpack yeah he, he does not no he doesn't ride in on a scooter he's <laughs> instead you find that he has been hoarding something you find another thing of like a cylinder of little tiny objects you find uh, painkillers. Oh. Do uh, I recognize them as being similar to the bottles I had before? You do. You don't know what they do, but you can roll D6 to see how many tiny little pellets are in there. One sec to rename that. There six. are six painkillers in there. When you take a painkiller, it's like Duke Nukem. Uh, you immediately heal all damage suffered, but don't do critical injuries, so if you break an arm, your arm's still broken. Uh, and that's it. And you have six of them. Uh, you don't know that, though. You don't know what they do. And But you do know this is an old world, world artifact, and it belongs in the Dawn Vault. And you find the note on his body um, from Ivar. Or not Ivar, sorry. Uh, from the Mole. I throw the note in as I burn his body. Oh, okay. All right. And then again, like once all the bodies are burned, I, you know, partially bury them. So there's a six foot hole above two feet of corpse. Yeah. People can see this pyre rising from the graveyard, but they don't investigate. Now, uh, I can assume that you arrange with Marlo for her to just move in and take the food since the leaders and the goons are gone. But I'm going to roll to see if anyone noticed you. And you can guess who would be trying to. Yes, I can guess. Um, let me find... Uh, I need... Is it a contested roll? Should I be rolling sneak? You can roll sneak. Let's see if that affects this. You can totally do that. Uh, let me find... I did not good or bad. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so you didn't sneak, so if this succeeds, they notice you. I'm going to roll it in the open. Um, Inky. I think this would be a manipulate roll. You were not noticed. You're Fuck able yeah. to assassinate this boss and burn their bodies in the evidence without anyone knowing. Although probably there's a certain someone who suspects when someone and starts disappearing, it's probably you. But anyways, you roll back in like a cool person with the fire burning behind you. Um, you know, all the evidence gone. Uh, what do you do with the painkillers? Um, I guess I plan to turn them in with my box of other pill bottles. Because I guess I'm just that nice. All right. So at this point, um, I think they both have a high development level. Once you have technology 20, you can produce painkillers and sleeping or uh, caffeine pills or energy pills. Okay. So that all happens. The next day comes. Okay. Oh, and um, oh, yeah. So you go back to Marlowe. She organizes things to secure all the food. It's just a thing between you two. And she, true to her word, pushes the tape recorder over to you. I take it. Could you link it in the chat so I can drag it to my page? 
Yes. Uh, let's see here. Um, and then I'll remove the painkillers from my list of artifacts. You can also see how funny me and Caleb are being. It is funny. Uh, let's see here. I have been watching that. Pain Good job, Caleb. Painkillers and energy pills in Dawn Vault. Okay. Um, this one is kind of a big deal. Set player. I didn't know it was a boombox. Oh, it's like a full on boombox. God, we're old. Uh, what is, I... Yeah, what is that? Yeah, you, you all probably not would not know what this is, but you can eventually fiddle with it, or you could. It, it depends. Um, I will put this public as well. We can go to the bar. Hold on. I'm just going to read this, okay? So this is the object you have. Uh, I think the question would be, what do you do with it initially? That, that's the first thing. I mean, I'm definitely going to be like, so how do I work this thing? Boss Marlowe's like, I don't know. Maybe you should talk to Pontic. Wait. Oh, that's not who I just killed. Okay, I was, I was like, you know, okay. Um, Starting to lose track of who you're killing. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm going to take it to the mole, and that'll give me the chance to return his crossbow and whatever bolts. No, I guess I used all three on three people. But still, I'll return his crossbow and give him a grub and a water for the missing bolts. Okay. Mole, you don't have to make a roll for this. You can figure it out in a few minutes. Uh, you can figure out how to work this if you want to. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it looks like the... Uh, you know, you got the play button here. That'll probably start whatever you put in it. You got the, the stop button that'll stop it, you know. Inject uh, might make this explode. Um... Well, it is what the you helped me ones. get, so I guess... And then I'm just gonna, like, as I'm saying that to him, I'm just gonna, like, hit the play button. Like, let him in on whatever we just... Since okay. he helped me get it. Uh, do you all want to say everybody else is here? I mean, since you're a gang, you want to bring everybody else in on this? Their presence would not stop me from hitting the play button, but I am yeah. apathetic as to whether or not I'm, they're in the room. <laughs> I'm down to kind of have everyone there for the evening. Okay. I'm just Thank gonna you. read this instead of post it. It says, um... It... Uh, this is what the mole knows. Uh, it's a radio receiver. Uh, so you manage to turn it on. Um, and Sarah presses the button and turns it on. And you hear an ancient emergency transmission. Um, and uh, you hear a stern voice. It says, Security clearance, level 5 or higher. Return to the nearest command center. Security clearance, level 5 or higher. Return to the nearest command center. It then lists coordinates for five command centers. And it says, Alpha. Wait, wait, hold up. What was the message before the coordinates? I'm trying to write this all down, sorry. Um, yeah, it says, um, it's an ancient emergency transmission. It says, mm -hmm. in a stern voice, security clearance, level five or higher. Return to the nearest command center. Huh. And um, for the next part, it lists out a bunch, a string of numbers and letters. There are two letters and two numbers and uh, and a alphanumeric. So it'll, for example, and this is not the one, but it'll say Alpha, K, 1, 2, Bravo, Tango, 1, 7. And it says that for Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Huh. Does that mean anything to you? I will Not also uh, remember you have the comprehend role and everybody's here. Oh. Um. 
between my map and somebody who actually has the ability to comprehend, Ooh. I think we can figure this out. Somebody just did it. I'm not as dumb as I look. Yeah, uh, I am gonna... Fish powers activate! <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna hand it over to, yeah, Fishman, since he saw it. Hey, so you have seen this before, uh, or Slade. Heard this before. You, you've seen yeah. it, um, and it's because oh. you all peered over the map, and so Sarah has this map, okay? And yeah. And on the edge of this map are letters and numbers, which probably... Oh, yeah, so Echo is E. Yeah, maritime stuff. It probably had no meaning to Sarah until now, but this map uh, is telling exactly where these facilities are. Of course uh, I know maritime stuff. It's in my name. Oh, I thought you just like marinara sauce. <laughs> um, what were the coordinates for the five of them? Like Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, okay, but like, what's the numerical coordinates it's repeating? I will post that in chat later. Okay. Um, but you do notice that uh, they are, like, all over the place. Like, there's a bunch of them just in different places. Some of them have listed facilities. Some of well, them Actually, rather down. than just fucking writing them down, could I just mark them on the map with all the notes and stuff? I, just like A, B, C, D, E? I will do that. F I'll do that for you. Okay? So, because I, okay. I don't have... I don't have... I don't... I mean, I don't want to mark them all right now, but... One of them is here on this as well. Oh. Uh, and uh, some of them are in various other places. The Circle of Nothing, all sorts of stuff. But anyways, uh, yeah, um, if you were to try to compare it. And yeah, this uh, this is picking up a transmission and it just loops that over and over again. Um, yeah. While we're here looking at the map, I, I am, uh, you have written on your map here at this, Sorry, at the I'll, one I'll spot. Back. Yeah, the don't come here. Where did you, uh, why, why is, uh, why, if, if, why does it say don't come here? You know, I'm actually not sure. Uh, me and the other stalkers, we would get together from time to time and exchange notes because we all had similar maps. So we'd all exchange notes so that we'd have the lay of the land covered by the, uh, number of different stalkers we had at the time so i got that note from my buddy uh billiam yes billiam oh yeah uh, and uh all he said was don't go over there it's got a terrible spiky biohazard logo thing on it i was that... just like okay that seems dangerous he had nothing else other than just spiky logo did he have anything else, Ross? Do I do I know what's over there? Uh, no. Painfully, painfully, Billiam was just like, "Don't go there." Yeah, Billiam was uh, was kind of a bitch when it came to details. He was just like, "Nah, nah, you don't." In in I'm not his defense, you do. You, you don't probably had a similar approach. Like, if you can't figure it out, that's your problem. Well, I mean, yeah. Look at the rest of my notes. Lots of bugs, teeth, and fangs. These are terrible <laughs> notes. We are not good at our jobs. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Some of them are pretty good. I mean, circle of nothing doesn't doesn't leave a lot of questions. <laughs> kind of right. does, actually. So let's see. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so you own that transmission now on the, the locations. Well, actually, uh, that does raise a question. You said this was a radio receiver? Uh, well, it's a, a radio, and then it has it's tuned to an AM station, which is a, an emergency broadcast station. Okay, I assume we break down what it's tuned to. Can we can we tune it around? Does it have any music stations yeah. around here? Uh, that's a great point. Let me. I would say like you can make a roll for that. You can pick. You know, it's your it's your character. So if you think uh, something makes sense, Tinker. I got. Yeah, I could do comprehend or jury rig. They're very similar. Up to you. Yeah, uh, totally. I'll, I'll jury rig. That's my job. Uh, I do agree. It makes sense. Oh I like how it comes boy. right in the before, though. You got stunts, too. So, um... Jesus. Yeah, not only can you find various stations, but you can, you can select two additional details that you want about the stations. 
Oh gosh. I mean, I would, and, I would and I'll just, say that you can find two stations as well. Oh, I would, I would just say like, hey, a a a, a good variety of of musical, musical music, you know. The old, the old Fallout standards, the mysterious classical music station, the fun old timey pop station, you know, with the fun disc jockey, you know, all the good stuff. All right, you I get... don't want to set the world. <laughs> Absolutely, on fire. you do. You find an an old time uh, blues station, and the really wild thing is, it gives you information about the old world. It talks about. Uh, you know, events that were going on back when it was recorded and stuff like that. Boy, DJs don't have jobs anymore. So yeah. that, that's one station. You can do one more if you want. Oh, well, obviously an up-to-date weather channel would be fantastic. The emergency uh, weather broadcast system. You have an automated weather observation station. It has a robotic voice. It's like oh, yeah. auto automated weather observation station. Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Who knows where that is? Hopefully near here. <laughs> I have to think about K S D F. The following, and then it gives a, and then it gives a code, and that that part sucks. So you'll have to make a comprehend roll uh, at a minus one dice to be able to know what the heck this code is saying, and it'll be All a degree right. of success roll. Big Oof. money, no whammies. Lots of whamming. Yeah. Uh, it is. It seems almost incomprehensible. It says stuff like SCT 0003 uh, V I S. Uh, you know, six. Out the ancients weren't as smart as they thought they were. Weather channel. Shocker. In, no, you might be able to figure it out later. Because the good news is, it is a yeah. permanent thing you find. Incomprehensible weather codes. Okay. Then I'd say let's just prop that up somewhere in the in the bar, and uh, we got music now, boys. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, I give it to them that so they can have it in the bar for music. Yes. Awesome. I also am gonna wait. Can I link this in chat? Cool. I added things to it. Awesome. I'm gonna keep it on my sheet just to update it if we need to nice. update it. Uh. Okay. So uh, that day passes and. Uh, the morning comes the next morning. Uh, this is day three. And um, everyone, something bad has happened when you awaken. And uh, people come to the mole. Everyone's here when this happens. They say, Oh, Scooty. Scooty's gone. Scooty's gone? What do you mean he's gone? Ah, everyone's... Did he leave it? I didn't say anything, but... It, I need details. He, uh, he, he left a note. He said that... He said that he, he... He was off to find salvation or some crazy thing. Oh, gosh. Dang it. Okay. That's this Scooty always trying to find salvation. Nope. Just... He, <laughs> man, just... Gosh, dang it. He, he needs to find... Damnation isn't that bad. The dam holds the water back. Okay. Well, gee whiz. Okay. Well, that's. Um, at this point, uh, too, the other thing is there's like a hubbub. So there are like crowds of people. In particular, there are crowds of people gathered around the marketplace as um, in the night you hear rumors that there were more visitations by these robed figures and boats. And um, apparently there was a battle right here, a disagreement. And one of the boats was capsized, and Boss Marlowe apparently has taken one captive. That's a really big deal. Okay, I have some questions. This Boss Bjorn fellow, right? Yeah. I need the, the dossier on him. How is he? How much do we get along? And what's his day job look like? Uh, he hates your guts. Uh, it is uh, non-talking terms with anyone in Ivar's gang or the temple. Uh, his people, they do take their responsibility seriously. They see themselves as like 
the sheepdog among the sheep, and they sort of have this kind of arrogant feeling that like it's up to them to defend the island, and they see themselves as like the main bulwark of defense, which is also kind of true. And they guard yeah, the, the they're like wall. they're reputable about it. They they're are respected their job. reputable about it, but that doesn't mean that at some point they might not move to just take over. Like probably if the elder dies, Bjorn's goons will be the first ones to march on the rest of the island and start killing people. That's a startling description. I guess it's a good thing he just got a bunch of painkillers. Yeah, I'm thinking out loud. I'm gonna think out loud with the with the crew here. I've been I'm we've got problems. Like a lot of problems, right? People keep disappearing. We've got these strange visitors. And we've got potentially other threats out in the wilderness, like worm gods, right? And I was thinking maybe it'd be a good idea to try to make some money moves here and maybe bury the hatchet with this Bjorn fellow. Maybe see if he's got any leftover repressed love for his his brother and might have a vested interest in trying to figure out what happened there and what's going on with all this stuff and maybe teaming up with uh would not be an impractical decision but with that description there it sounds much more gambly well i have a, a thought um ivar's not here anymore this i mean, i too. assume i assume that one of the big points of contention is that the brothers hated each other. Well, it's the Moles gang now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It might be, uh, we might have an, uh, a once in a, a lifetime, so to speak, opportunity to, to kind of put things back on a more amicable track here. You're not wrong. If anyone thinks I'm crazy, speak up now or forever. Oh, you're definitely crazy. But yeah, you're not I mean, wrong. we like, all agree. Topical crazy. crazy here. I mean, he probably doesn't know that I'm associated with you guys. I might be able to talk to him because sort of, uh, well, I'm not like new. I've been here for a while, but also like I'm kind of low key. So he probably doesn't even remember me. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know that there's any under the table stuff we need from him. It might be a more over, over to uh, com communication might be in order here. Um, you know, the best way to bring two warring factions together is to have a common enemy. I should know that. I'm frequently the common enemy. Yeah, it's, uh, here, here, making nothing but good points. All right. I think if no one has any objections, it might be good time before, you know, strike while the iron's hot, uh, before investigating this captured person of interest to maybe make a, make a trip over to Bjorn's place. Okay. Um, how do you roll up in there? I'd like to bring a posse, but not like, you know, not like a, a moving in posse. Like, hey, not totally throwing myself at your mercy, but like, we, we would, we'd, I'd like to, to sort of roll up and say, hey, it's boss, mole, I guess, um, and I would love to to have words with your boss Bjorn about the um, the unfortunate fate of Ivar and the future of this here arc, because that worked out so well last time. I would like to accompany him okay. as part of the posse. Um, let's see. Okay. 
Um, Okay, yeah, uh, you, fee you see someone who, apart from the hypnotoad eyes and not having legs, looks remarkably like your former friend Ivar. Uh, but as you approach their fortified walls, they have like palisades and spiked, thing you know, spiked uh, wooden stakes, and uh, uh, they level crossbows and, uh, and scrap guns at you all as you approach. Of course, you say this thing, and you I actually... I level my scrap gun back at them. Yeah, uh, when, when Mole, when you say what you described, um, uh, you hear a voice echo out like, hold your fire. And you see a, a bald head arise like Ivar's and he says, come in, say your piece, keep your weapons lowered and holstered. Let them in. And they open up some gates for you to, to come into their uh, heavily fortified facility there are people everywhere here with like scrap guns and crossbows and swords and stuff and uh um, they uh you you eventually find yourself with somewhat of an escort into an old kind of warehouse building and um there's a table just an old it's one of those things where there's like windows you know like these big tall warehouse windows the sun is setting, pouring on into this long, rugged steel table on a concrete floor, and uh, he invites you to sit with some of his goons, and he says, Now what's this about? Where's Ivar? Well... actually a very if, good question isn't it yes uh if you would uh he's missing we don't know where he is if you'd uh what do you mean he's missing oh, i mean he disappeared and he's not the only one there's been a bit of a rash of disappearances if you would allow me some candor boss bjorn um As I'm sure you've noticed, the Ark is going through a lot of trouble right now, and I'm deeply concerned by it. Among this has been disappearances, including Ivar, your brother and our dear leader, as well as his uh, second-in-command and another uh, person of interest, the uh, scout the Elder sent out that we brought back to the Ark relatively recently. There's been... As I'm sure you're aware, countless other instances of instability. We have strange visitors, and so I've, uh, it, it seems to me like some of the other figure of our esteemed figures, such as Pontiac, uh, Pontiac are uh, getting antsy. And you, if you don't mind my saying, if, if done a very good job protecting us until now and I would like to help you and to see you continue to do that. I think that the animosity between our two groups has uh, hurt our community here and what we need right now is a, a some degree of unity among trustworthy partners as well as the security that you've been good at providing in ages past. In the both sort of, you know, on into the future, future proposition and in the immediate term, as I said, Ivar's missing. And although I know you two don't have a lot of closeness, I was hoping that you would have resources that could help investigate these disappearances. You lost my brother. Oh, no. he, he doesn't just look at Mole when he says that. He looks at, like, all of you. 
Wait, didn't I see his brother actually, like, sacrifice himself? In no. order one to run into a group of enemies? No, no, Ivar was Scumbag's character. Yeah, I know, but I thought I remembered him commanding yeah, Gwen to... That guess... was another one of the people that we'd just rescued, of the, like, three people we encountered. Yeah, uh. yeah that was that was a forced suicide, not a voluntary suicide. <laughs> okay, so he says, um, you're asking for help to find my brother. Yes. And you think that we ought to set our differences aside. Looks at, like, Sarah, looks at, uh, primarily Sarah and you, because, you know, he's known that you all were there for the good of the island and the people. These are hard times. And if you don't mind my saying, I, I think you are a good friend for this island to have in hard times. He, he, like, stands up and stares with his hands behind his back in a kind of parade rest stand, looking out from the windows into the sunset. I agree. And I want to find my brother, too. It is about time that things change. He turns around and he says, A lot of people will have to die to make this happen. Um, <laughs> like, like, who? Just, you know, so we could be ready. Yeah, who are you, uh, how do you mean? We were thinking maybe this could happen without anybody dying, but I mean, if you had a different thought, maybe you could share with the class. Yes, it's the, uh, the chroniclers. They pretend that the Elder is still in power, but it's truly the chroniclers that guard the Dawn Vault. When it comes right down to it, we'll need to strike with surprise. The moment that they see cooperation between our two gangs, that convenience of us being separate will have ended, and they will see a threat to their, to their grunts, to their forces. And I think as soon as that happens, you'll find yourself thrown off this island. I'm surprised it hasn't already happened. They see you as a threat. And then in yeah, time, yeah. they'll see me as a threat. If you, I believe that our best bet is a lightning raid. Strike with all of our forces at the Dawn Vault immediately. We'll have to kill their grunts. It's tragic. They mean well. They've served the people, well, as long as any of us have been alive. But the chroniclers hide behind the grunts. We have to take them out and take control and end the reign of Elder Elias. And I don't want this to happen, but I will have to take control. Perhaps... There is an alternative opportunity <laughs> presenting I can, itself. I cannot imagine what that could be, but certainly. What, is, what do you well, Haven't you mind? heard? They've, they've been appearing at your wall, yes. haven't they? It's a pretty big deal. They seem pretty harmless so far, but I agree. I think they're from another arc some other mutants of some kind. Eventually, if they see enough of a weakness in this Ark, they will strike and take all of our food. Yeah. Step back a little bit. This is a an unprecedented event. The Ark is looking... The people of the Ark will be looking for security, protection, leadership no secret that the elders in decline it's why everyone's getting a bit antsy perhaps instead of killing our way to a new future it could be 
no, presented. No. I'm good with killing our way to the future. Shh. <laughs> my hand over her mouth. <laughs> Maybe handle if if we handle this crisis in a responsible and public manner, uh, then the then a new f the the people can see what a new future for the Ark looks like. He raises Blood his hands like started. this and he shakes his head. He kind of like furrows his eyebrows, massages his head. You don't understand. The other bosses, the conformists, especially Marlo, Marlo, Pontic, the goons that they have, they will side with what appears to be the Elder, which is the Chroniclers, and you will find yourself disappeared. And then the Chroniclers will take over the temple. When that happens, there'll be nothing left. And I will not move against the Chroniclers at that point. We will suffer a long defeat here in this place, because I will not surrender my duty to the people. <laughs> duty. Everybody looks at you when you say that. <laughs> at the table. Everybody goes like that. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, guys. I just uh, had a cough. Um, why haven't you reached out to Marlo or us or anybody else for that matter? You underestimate the Chroniclers. Even now, they watch what you have done. I tell you, within a few days, you will either be killed, brought before the Elder, and exiled or face trial at the assembly. Oh, uh, uh, hey, Mole. Yeah. Um, just like between us gals, right? Yeah. Uh, between us gearheads. Uh, why don't we, why don't we decide with the, the elder? Uh, like if he's so power, this guy's making good points, and those good points are saying the elder and his guys are really, really powerful, right? I mean, that's what you've done so far. That's been the status yeah. quo. Yeah. I think the rub. I see. Here's the here's the thing, you could do. right? The thing is, the elder's kind of been in charge for like a really long time, right? And we're team elder. Great guy, wonderful right. dude. He is right. gonna die in the next few days, probably. He is very, very soon. Okay, all right. Yeah, no, he's he. We've seen him. He is. I would not be shocked if he's actually dead now, and they're just covering it up. The oh, like question, a weekend at Bernie's type thing. Okay. Yeah, the question on everyone's lips is, okay, what now, right? Who takes the throne? And I think what what uh, our friend, our buddy O'Pal Bjorn here was saying is that the chroniclers are going to try to take that seat and bounce everyone who could oppose them. Okay. And what Bjorn's saying is he wants to take that seat and bounce everyone who opposes him. And he's okay. saying that he thinks the Chroniclers really want to bounce us. Okay. So somebody's getting bounced, it sounds like. Somebody's getting bounced. And I was kind of hoping to avoid bouncing. But okay. we may be on a trampoline. <laughs> I mean, I am more than happy to do anything that gets rid of Estrina. That was a really funny way to say that. Yeah, thanks. It, uh, <laughs> we may be on moments of inspiration sometimes strike me. Uh, man, that's crazy. Uh, I'm gonna be Ratchet's like huddled over with the with the guys, the one on the table. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I really like this guy so much. He seems uh, seems really quick to violence. Yeah. Yeah, and it's kind of a problem because I don't know that I like anyone that much. Right. Which is why I was hoping to... So, um... Okay. I'm also going to say that that is where we'll end the adventure for tonight here in August. Right. 